Today we're going to go through naming with polyatomic ions. It should go pretty quickly. It's really simple application of rules that we already know. Okay, first of all, we want to talk about what is a polyatomic ion. If you break down the term into its parts, okay, what we have is poly is many atomic is of atoms, and ion simply is a charged particle. So what we're looking at here is a many atom charged particle. We've dealt with ions in terms of metals or nonmetals that have either lost or gained electrons to become charged particles. Uh, what we're going to see now are these things that are made up of more than one atom that are charged particles. Uh, some of the common ones we will see are NO3 with a charge of negative 1, SO4 with a charge of negative 2, PO4 has a charge of minus 3, NH4 has a charge of plus 1. There's a list of uh, dozens of them. Uh, we use probably 20 of them or so commonly in our class. Okay. Uh, what you need to know is we're not going to call this something like uh, nitrogen trioxide or sulfur tetroxide or phosphorus. These things have names. They've been given titles. Okay. And we know that this thing is called nitrate. This is sulfate. phosphate, and this is ammonium. Okay. Now, notice that it's not like 8 defines how many oxygens there are. Okay. But what you can do is separate things that end in 8 from like polyatomic ions that end in ite, because ites will have less O. NO2 Is nitrite. SO3 that also has a charge of negative 2 is sulfite. Okay. PO3 with a charge of negative 3 is phosphite. Okay. So 8s have more O's than I's. Okay. So what we need to do is identify these combinations of atoms as teams that have a charge. And once we see those, we have uh, data tables. We're not expecting to memorize all these. Okay? But the big thing is recognizing these guys and then using that when naming them. Uh, the biggest struggle for students is just being able to tell that something is a polyatomic ion. Okay, so we've got a few examples up here uh, now to practice our, our naming with. Uh, when you see a compound in Chemistry 1 that's made up of more than two components, and what I mean by that is typically we've been seeing only two elements involved, like uh, K3P or uh, PbCl4. We've only seen two elements, okay, even with our nonmetal uh, compounds, I, Br, something like that. Okay, I see nitrogen, hydrogen, chlorine, or barium, nitrogen, oxygen, or an extreme example over here. There's four different elements. When I see more than two elements, that's screaming polyatomic ion at me. Okay, now we've used some quantum learning techniques to try and memorize these. Okay, so we've got, okay, so we've used some quantum learning techniques memorize some of these. So purple means polyatomic ion to us. So anytime we see a purple, what we're going to do is look at the other guy involved in the compound. What, what kind of rule does he have? And that's what we'll use in naming. So we've got nonmetals are blue. We've got Column 1, column 2, and aluminum, those are golds. 
transition, heavy metals, post transitions, those guys are orange. Okay, and again, this is a purple purple. Okay, now, naming these is simple. Anytime I see a polyatomic ion, all I have to do is write its name. And now let's look at who. So this is our only anion, our plus charged polyatomic ion that we use commonly. That's ammonium. So I've got ammonium. You take the nonmetal and you always IDE it. So it's ammonium chloride. Okay. Second one uh, is not balanced yet. Okay. What we have here is ammonium. There should be two of them because it's plus one, goes with sulfide. So uh, just name it. Ammonium. Okay, IDE the second one, sulfide. Okay, now we get to the gold. If you're from column one or column two or aluminum, you don't need a Roman numeral. So we're looking at sodium. And then write the other guy's name, sulfate. Okay, here I've got barium. Write the other guy's name, nitrate. Okay, now, when we start involving the orange ones, those transition or heavy metals that require Roman numerals, now we have a different situation. I can write its name. I know that's nitrate, but I need to figure out the charge of iron. So I do minus 1 times 3 is negative 3, canceled out by plus 3. So this is iron. This charge is 3. Okay, so all we really did was use the oranges rule and then list the name of the polytonic ion. And if we ever luck out and get purple purple, all you have to do is list their names. So this is ammonium acetate. And this is ammonium carbonate. So really, polyatomic ions, not a big deal to name. Use the other guy's rule that we've already learned, okay, and list the name of the polyatomic ion.